Hi guys, it's Nikki from Gummy Line Plans. This week's video is all about planners. Um, I'm going to be comparing the different kinds of planners that you get. You get, um, so I'm going to be comparing um, rings, strings, discs, and a bound planner. And I'm just going to give you my opinion on each one and what I like and what I don't like. Uh, so I'm going to start off with discs. Now discs, um, this is a mini happy planner. It's actually a, a, a notebook that I made because at the moment the discs and that are very hard to find. Um, there are a couple of places you can get them. Um, my favorite place or the only place that I buy them is from Sylvia from Shop and Scrap. I will leave her shop link in the description below. Um, and if you go onto her site and you search uh, for me and my big ideas which is the name of the company that owns the happy plan or that produces the happy planner if you see that uh, her side is great because if you see that the say for example the discs are out of stock you can actually put a, a notification in place there with your email address so that they notify you when the discs are back in stock again or the covers or different planners or whatever the case is so I'll leave that link down below but let's just have a look here so for those of you who don't know the Discbound Planner is very popular overseas um, and I really wish that we would bring them more readily into South Africa because they really are, for me as a left-handed person, they were very much of a game changer. So the basic premise is, is that everything is on these discs now. While they're all bound like this, they look very um, much like a spiral or a coil. I'm actually just going to grab my loose discs. I've got some loose discs here. These are so these are these are the discs. So these are mini discs, which are the same size as this one. And you get then the different sizes. You get classic, which is more of a medium size, and then you get the expanded discs, which are quite large. They're about so wide, and the medium about so. Um, so you can see they're actually loose discs, and you'll also notice is that they've got a kind of a ridge on them so what happens is is that the whole planner is built onto the discs and then the, the guts of the planner or the inserts and everything holds everything together now what I love about this okay so obviously I like to make things pretty so I've got a little folder and I've got it here I just want to get to a page okay so what happens is if I pull a page off you can see here that it's kind of like a mushroom punch it's like a mushroom shaped hole what that does is it actually grips on to the to the disc and it holds on so that they, they, they I mean even though it's paper it's really really the, the the design of the disc and the design of the punch of the whole punch is makes it a very very strong binding system so if I just put this back on here like so and then I can actually really shake it about just holding onto one of the discs um, the lovely thing about the disc bound system is that it, then you can use it like a spiral so you can flip it back on yourself so for a lefty like myself there's no issue with having the um, the um, coil or the spiral or whatever the case and as in the case of the the rings the the rings in this in the my space but unlike a spiral you, it is completely customizable and for me that's quite a big deal i like to have my um my plan is I like to be able to customize them I like to add things in you know I get bored really quickly so I like to add things in um, so like this is a um, expansion extension pack that I bought a while ago and I use some of the insides that I've just now taken off the dates I put a uh, black paper over the I love my black paper as you know um, over the half of the calendar and I'll just put no paper in and I made myself a little notebook so but you do get the different um, uh, planners happy planners and all that sort of thing so that's disc bound quickly i want to actually show you that i did a thing <laughs> if anyone saw my instagram i and my previous video where i had bought and i'm just grabbing excuse the noise this thing is huge i had bought this um 2021 18 month planner from pna and I know you can get them at various other places as well, other outlets and um, cookbooks and, 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 and various other places. But this, the coil, the, the spiral coil got to me um, and I 
even though I love the planner, I really, really missed my discs. So after much thought, I actually, and I'm just going to move this here, I took the coil off and I put it on two discs. And it works for me. For me, it works beautifully now. Um, it was a bit big of a risk. Um, the, my cover, I didn't use my Happy Planner punch. I used a single hole punch and then just cut slits in because the Happy Planner punch, you can't put laminate in. Um, so, yeah, so here I've got, I'm not going to go through this planner. It's quite a large, chunky one, but I've got the expanded discs on. So I've got the big discs on. And this is my business book. Um, it's I've got my YouTube stuff in here. I've got um, my um, other bits of uh, different um, income streams that I'm busy planning and working on. So this is all in here. Plus, I've got the planner up to then. I don't have to keep the full um, 21... 18 months, sorry, I don't have to keep the full 18 months, I've got in here up until December, including the notes and the folder, then when January comes, um, then I can just take this out, because it's just as easy as pulling up, and then putting in the, um, the next few months, sorry, I just shook the camera, so I just wanted to show you that quickly, so that's disc bound planners, okay, so discs, then we're going to, let me just move this out of the way, then we're going to look at my current absolute favorite. Um, I've had a lot of comments on my, sorry, quick sip here. Bronchata still, can you believe it? It's fourth week in. Mm. It's getting a little better, but um, yeah, I'm just carrying on regardless. So this is Traveler's Notebook. So this is the strings. And... What I love about this is that it's completely customizable. So you have your strings. Um, I will link my um, my two videos uh, that I have about the Traveler's Notebooks down below um, and where I got them. <coughs> and the pros of this is that, yeah, you can put whatever you like in here. You've got, basically you've got four strings. I've actually got six inserts in here. Um, I use a jump band. I'm just gonna try and find it. Here we go. So what you do with a jump band, I just don't want to get tangled up here, is you just put an elastic around another book. You take um, one of your existing um, inserts on, on one of the permanent um, elastics and you just wrap it around like so. Okay, I'm going the wrong way, but it doesn't really matter. And there you've got an extra, and that's how you, that's, that's called um, a jump band and then you just add it on. So. The, the the cons about this, if there is any, for me there isn't, is that you have to, in South Africa, you have to print out your own inserts. So you either buy them on Etsy um, and print them out, which is what I've done over here. So this is a, one of my new weeklies that I'm <laughs> playing with that I got from Etsy. Um, if you guys are interested in this one, I can link it down below. Just let me know. I buy so many of these things that, you know, they take for ages and uh, I've got so many that I have to find it on my computer. Um, this is one that I sh I'm doing, <coughs> excuse me, again. Um, I'm using um, Tempe and Aco's stickers and in a plain notebook, bullet journal style. Um, and I am creating my own weeklies as I go along. So this is next week. And then I've got October monthly log, October task list. <coughs> sorry again habit checker i'm busy making and then the week after so if you like that sort of thing this will work very well for you because you can put all sorts in i've got a commonplace book i've got um, i'm running this set, this weekly as well just so that i've got some future planning that i can put in there because um, i don't like to do um you know the spreads with the stickers and everything too far in advance because you know i like to do these things on a weekend um I actually also bought a meal planner uh, from the same uh, shop that I bought this weekly from. Um, I haven't filled it in yet. I need to get my health into gear. So I'm going to start planning our meals out quite. I already do plan our meals, but dinners only. So this is for breakfast, lunch, dinner, uh, snacks, and grocery lists and that sort of thing. So, And then my social media planner, which I've shown before. And then here is my journal there's me ha ah. um so yeah it's a new journal that i just started so i'm not going to so i've just prepped a few pages but i mean you can really put in whatever you like so 
that is the strings it's a traveler's notebook so i'm just going to put that to one side and we're going to talk about your bound planner so now in south africa this is your most traditional in fact worldwide i think this is your most traditional um type of planner so you get a bound book um it's very nicely done this is the john c maxwell it's one of the ones that i bought in july for 20 bucks from pna when they were on sale haven't done anything with it yet um there's a quite a lot of things just by the way there's quite a lot you can do when you buy these mid-year when you buy planners mid-year there's a lot you can do with them um and i might actually do a video on that so you can read dates you can use it as a notebook um you can use it if there's a multitude of things you can actually do with these um my one i turned into a prayer journal um another one uh you'll, you'll see now i've actually started putting pages in here so but let's get back to the point the point is is that a bound book very very nice has all your information in my main problem with it is it's not customizable it can't add pages in if you take pages out you've got to tear them out um you don't have a, you know there's a few note pages at the back but there's not enough for me um it just it doesn't work so that's your bound book over there this is my thank um my webster's pages <laughs> sorry i wish i had a franklin copy no this is my webster's pages my a5 rings um which i also did a video and i shall link that down below as well um and this is like your file effects kind of thing so you've got your, your rings here um and you basically have, you can buy your inserts from any PNA, CNA. Um, I'm not sure if Combooks has them or not. You get this, the inserts every year. Myself, again, I go to Etsy. I prefer to get my own sort of different ones. As I said, I get bored. What I did with this one, um, I actually took one, another one of the planners. It was the Angelique de Toy planner that I also bought at the sale at PNA for 20 bucks took out a few of the dailies thought I'd give it a try and I punched it I have a special punch which I shall show you which is the we are memory keepers um, planner punch planner punch board and basically any kind of ring bound planner any size you can punch your inserts with this and it's actually a brilliant um buy and i got this from shop and scrap from sylvia uh, as well so i'll already have her shop linked down below honestly shop and scrap amazing by the way amazing amazing service they ship uh, well, uh countrywide worldwide countrywide <laughs> and they have the biggest selection of craft um, planner scrapbook whatever you want kind of um, things so I highly highly recommend you check them out but I must warn you they are a rabbit hole and if you go down that hole husbands are not happy but you know it's fun and games anyway so what don't I like about this the rings get in the way because I am a left-handed person and I guess even if you're a writer you know if you if you're busy writing here and you're writing on this side this is also going to get in the way you can't turn it back on yourself like you can with the happy planner or the disc bone planner um but you can customize it so you know if you have your unlike a spiral bound again you can customize it so that's what i like what i don't like about it is the rings get in the way that's basically the only thing i don't like about it is the rings get in the way so there we go so and I've said so so many times <laughs> um that is it really I mean what more is there to say so do I have a favorite at the moment um I do actually I have two favorites so I love my rings but the rings get in the way I'm not a huge fan of a bound book I was for a long long time um, and I did make them work with post-its and whatever like that but then you can't make it pretty and you can't add nice things in so not a fan of the bound planner at the moment, I am loving my traveler's notebook. Loving, 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 loving it. Um, I've been using it <laughs> for about a month now, um, which is long for me, believe me. Um, if I can't tell you how many planners I've had this year, and you don't want to see what my shelves look like. So I love my um, traveler's notebook, the strings, and I love my discs. Um, the only thing I don't love about the discs at the moment is that I don't have a cover for it, which I am speaking to Lonky from Props for Dots to see if she can't make me a cover for my classic. 
uh, disc ground planner. I can't call this a happy planner because it's not really a happy planner, but I, you know, my disc ground planner to make a cover. Um, so watch the space for that and we'll see what we can come up with. So there you go. That is my planner comparison and I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry this video was a bit long. If you've made it to the end, congratulations. I'm really impressed that you listened to me waffle for this long. If you have any comments or any questions or any suggestions um, for future videos, please put them in the comments below. Please like and subscribe and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!